everybody down here at the lower lower Conestoga River um, we've had a lot of rain last night and yesterday and uh, it's still super windy from that uh, hurricane or tropical storm or whatever you want to call it by the time it gets to us but um, we're gonna fish here see what we can catch I got a few ideas I think I'm gonna walk up the way that I went the other day the water is much higher and pushing a lot heavier and a little darker so um, Let's see what we can do. All right, guys, let's go. There we go. We call it shit. Mate. Well, guys, I fished this area for a little while. I ain't got nothing. The water's a lot higher than it normally is. There we go. Ooh, nice fish coming across, swimming across. Nice fish. He's in that current. He's fighting pretty good. I was swimming it straight across here. I've only been here about, he's way down in that current now. Oh, he's going down the way in the current. Gotta get him over. We got four pound line down. We got four pound. He's trapped in that current. Oh man. This is a test of this little rod now. I gotta walk. I gotta walk. It's a nice fish. Try to get him back up this way. Nice little fish. I was swimming it across the current there right at the break. And he hit it. He's a nice fish. Nice little bass. Super fun on this rod. Super fun, super fun. He felt a little bit bigger than he is, but he's still pretty nice. He felt a little bigger, but he got in that current on that four pound ultralight line. He's a nice bass. Little spot. It's a stinky spot, he smells strong. I caught him right across shallower water, or not shallower, but slower moving water right over here. And I swam across and he hit about right in here in the current. So yeah, that was fun. And he was pushing me back that way into the harder current, so. Been kind of slow, I've been here for about 30 minutes. I've been trying different colors, see what follows and what doesn't follow. And they've been following that uh, the ice a little bit better. I used some, I found those little crawdads. I've been using those, but they didn't really seem to pan off very well. So, let's see here. Well, guys, that's that. Nice little bass. Let's let him go. There he goes. I don't know how clear that was. Cool. At least we got something. In that current where any hit was just like, it was crazy. He tore this up. I'm looking for that nice holding place, that place that, you know, it's holding a decent amount of little fish. Big fish, small fish, good fish, you know what I mean? <clears throat> There we go. Skipped it up in there. Dang it, lost him. Dang it. Come off. He's something to drag down a little bit. Too much. 
Well, everybody, we've only caught that one bass. We had one, uh, something on a minute ago, but it came off. Then I broke off, sized down to a little bit smaller jig, maybe to catch a few little smaller fish. But um, it's been about an hour. It's been kind of slow, but the river's up a lot, and it's a lot muddier than it normally is. And it's getting ready to rain. I don't know. It might not rain right off the bat, but I don't know. It looks like it's about to fall out. So let's just keep going. Come on, guys. Oh my god, that was a huge fish. There we go. Switched it up. I found a little bit better color. Switching colors up. No matter how dark this water is, I figure they might like just keep it real natural. Ow. And he hit it. Nice little spot. Feisty booger. It's been a while. It's been about an hour since we caught anything. I ah, know, it's been about 45 minutes since we caught anything. Nice little spot of bass. Let's throw him back in. No Kusa bass today, I've noticed. It's all spots. Well, how much longer I have to fish until the sky opens up and starts slamming down on me, but I'm going to keep fishing until I can't fish no more. That's how I roll. There's another one. I think we might have found a little bit better color. Sorry guys, I have a tendency to hold my, I need to adjust that to where y'all can. I fished the wrong color for a while. See, sometimes, that's a small mouth, nice little small mouth. Sometimes, your first fish isn't always the right impression. It'll give you the wrong impression. That is a nice little smallmouth bass. Not too bad. A little smallmouth. Pretty smallmouth. He was feisty. A lot of times, the first thing you can't, because when I first got here, I fished for a little bit, tried different things. I had followers with that blue eyes. Then immediately I caught that bigger fish. Now I fished that for a long while and it get nothing. So then I decided I seen a bigger fish jump. And I've seen up on the bank here some more natural looking little minnows and I thought you know what I'm gonna switch up even though the water's a little darker switch it up all right guys see you buddy take it easy so I switched it up to a little bit more natural looking color a little blue bottom little blue flake on it pumpkin a little green pumpkin with some blue flake and just a tiny bit of a blue bottom just a little bit blue and by doing so, right off the bat, I've caught two bass already. And I fished this spot already. I stood here and fished this spot with that blue ice and it was nothing. I stood right over there and fished all around in here, walked right over here. Then I broke off and then I've switched, switched colors. Found something to... They like a little bit more. They probably can't see it as well. And they're just smacking it because they notice it. Going by. This weather's about to turn ugly on me. Yeah guys, I think I'm gonna have to I think I'm gonna start heading back towards the car. Cause it's getting a little, it's getting a little rough, and I think it's about to come down. And this water seems to be 
you know, there's a lot of dark clouds back up the, the mountain there. I don't know if y'all can see that. And this water has rose just a little bit in the last 20 minutes. And that's not a good sign. And I do not want to get flushed down this thing. So it could be pouring. With all this rain off that hurricane, it could be just monsooning up the mountain on the other side. And then this, this creek could rise, or this river, this small river. There's a river, so this thing could rise, you know, a foot, two feet in a matter of 15 minutes or so. And that really messed me up. So I'm going to start heading back this way. You know, I got to thinking. Notice the water's come up just a hair since I've been here. And the water, I've seen this, you know, I've seen this river rise up so high that you can't even wait it. It goes way over there. And if it's big enough to carry trees like that down, you know, it gets high. It's dangerous if you're out here. Because these rivers like this, just here in the south where it rains a lot in the mountain, it rise fast. This wasn't flowing so hard through here earlier. It's just barely coming through here. That water's been locked since I've been up there. <laughs> oh man, lost it. <laughs> just, oh, I gotta watch for trees. Got another little smallmouth. <laughs> I was just jiggling it right in front of me, right here where this calm water is. Here we go, another little smallmouth. See you, buddy. Well, guys, that's it. Um, we caught a few bass, not too bad. A couple of decent little uh, spotted bass and a little bitty uh, smallmouth. Lost a few fish. Had a pretty good time. It's only been about two and a half hours or so, almost three. Uh, but it's, I heard it thunder and lightning and I'm about ready to head home. I don't want to be out here when it's thunder. It's already been so windy. It's crazy. But thank y'all guys for watching my videos and all that good stuff. Y'all guys take it easy. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see y'all guys later.